A 52-year-old man is brought to the emergency department after sustaining a witness tonic-clonic seizure. The patient states he has had a bitemporal, dull, constant headache for the last two weeks. CT of the head is shown in the figure. What is the most likely diagnosis? The most likely diagnosis is glioblastoma. Glioblastoma, also known as glioblastoma multiforme, is the most aggressive and fast-growing type of brain cancer. It develops from astrocytes, which are star-shaped glial cells in the brain and spinal cord. These cells play a critical, supportive role in the nervous system. They supply nutrients to neurons, help maintain the protective blood-brain barrier, a filter that shields the brain from harmful substances, and assist in regulating communication between nerve cells. Glioblastoma is classified as a grade 4 astrocytoma, the highest and most severe grade in the glioma category. Gliomas are tumors that originate from glial cells, the support staff of the nervous system. Unlike cancers that spread to the brain from other parts of the body, metastatic cancers, glioblastoma is a primary brain tumor, meaning it arises directly within the brain or spinal cord tissue. What are the symptoms of glioblastoma? Because glioblastoma grows so aggressively, symptoms often appear suddenly and worsen quickly. The exact symptoms depend on the tumor's location, but common signs include severe headache that is worse in the morning, seizures, first-time seizures in adults should always be checked, nausea and vomiting due to increased brain pressure, memory and personality changes, frontal lobe tumors affect behavior, Weakness or numbness if the tumor presses on motor areas. Vision and speech problems, temporal or occipital lobe involvement. Glioblastoma represent almost 20% of all primary intracranial tumors. Other brain tumors that can occur in adults are hemangioblastomas, schwannomas, oligodendrogliomas, and meningiomas. What are the causes of glioblastoma? The exact causes of most glioblastoma cases remain unknown. Currently, the most well-established risk factor is exposure to ionizing radiation, particularly from medical imaging procedures like CT scans. Roughly 5% of glioblastoma cases are linked to specific inherited genetic syndromes. What is the natural history of glioblastoma? Glioblastoma is an aggressive tumor. Without treatment, most patients die within three months of diagnosis. With treatment, the median survival time is one year, and less than 10% of patients survive five years. Where are these lesions typically located? Glioblastomas are found supertentorially in the cerebral hemispheres and often cross hemispheres via the corpus callosum, butterfly glioma. The CT shows a large, lobulated mass that enhances with contrast and crosses the midline. The center of the mass does not enhance, which suggests central necrosis. What are the histologic findings in glioblastomas? Glioblastomas are composed of highly malignant astrocytes that are visualized by immunohistochemical staining with antisera against gliofibrillary acidic protein. Histology of glioblastomas shows pseudopalisading tumor cells surrounding focal areas of necrosis and hemorrhage. Higher magnification histopathology, showing high-grade astrocytoma features of marked nuclear pleomorphism, multiple mitoses, one at white arrow, and multinucleated cells, one at black arrow, with cells having a patternless arrangement in a pink fibrillary background, what is the treatment for glioblastomas? Treatment is largely palliative and only moderately increases survival time. Treatment may include surgical resection, radiation, and chemotherapy. What are some other adult brain tumors? Oligodendroglioma is a primary tumor that develops from oligodendrocytes and occurs often in the frontal lobes a benign tumor that arises from arachnoid cells is called a meningioma. The latter often are asymptomatic or cause focal neurological symptoms. Histologically, meningiomas contain spindle cells 
that are arranged into a specific pattern called Simoma bodies. 